after my camera broke, this is not one I had to watch twice in order for me to make a further review on it. All I had to do was watch it once, my camera to break, me to get more angry at it, and just continue on. So, let's talk about this piece of shit. Bloodthirst 2 Revenge of the Chupacabras. So this was a movie that I got pulled in by the front cover. I was like, okay, yeah, that thing looks creepy and I want to see it. And as soon as this movie started, I knew I was in for it because it's filmed on a handheld camera and it's just bad. This movie, which was made in 2004, was garbage. I, there's nothing I can say besides it. The tagline, it can smell your fear, it can also can't smell a very big CGI budget, because this is the first time I've watched a horror movie with a $5 CGI budget with this creature right here, which is clearly made on Microsoft Paint, PowerPoint, something like that. It looks like a clip art. It looks like clip art. I'm not joking about that either. It looks like clip art. Alright guys, let me be honest with you. The movie is about a chick who knows about chupacabras, who is kidnapped because she knows about chupacabras, who is then freed because she knows about chupacabras, and then there's something with a mental asylum and a boyfriend and a CGI creature that was spent $5 on. Then the movie stops, then the credits roll, then I threw it against the wall. Seriously, there's no redeeming factor in this film. The acting isn't good, the fucking scenery isn't good. There is some background noise, and if there's anything that background noise does to a movie that isn't meant to be background noise, it makes me cringe to the level. Like, every movie that I watch starts out as a 10 and slowly decreases one way or another. No movie is perfect. I understand that. No movie is perfect whatsoever. But this, holy shit. Like, seriously, there were scenes in here where I heard, like, background noise. <laughs> It was Scarecrow Slayer level bad, guys. Scarecrow Slayer level bad. Like, look at me. Look at me. Scarecrow Slayer bad. Seriously, I have nothing to say other than that. The creature in this film is not good. The effects are not good. There's a scene in here. Spoiler alert. Believe me, you're not going to watch this. There's a scene in here where the Chupacabra is, like, checking on these two people who are in a tent. And the girl is just like, honey, I think there's something outside the tent. And um, he just kind of went, oh, fuck it. And she puts her head out to look around what's going on. And literally, she looks to the left and goes, oh. And there's like literally a ch fuck. What the fuck is this creature? Insert a picture here of the creature. Like, fuck, man. What is that? Sci-fi would turn that down. That is garbage. But literally, like, the creature slowly, like, CGI animates Birdemic style towards her head and then cuts her head off and her boyfriend gets splattered with ketchup not even mildly caring that her girl his girlfriend just got decapitated he gets sprayed in blood and literally goes what was that and then goes back to sleep pretty much it's, it's stupid literally stupid there's nothing more I can say besides this cover is misleading I don't know if the, there's a first one, because I know this is two, and I don't expect to look for the first one, because this is garbage. And I know the first one ain't going to redeem it, so let's be honest here. Guys, i got to be honest with you, I've never been so bored with a horror movie in my life. Scarecrow Slayer does still beat it out by a bit, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to spend 30 minutes pretty soon here reviewing Scarecrow Slayer, because I've talked about it for three years, and it's coming to the point where I'm pretty sure I have to talk to you guys about it. Guys, Bloodthirst 2, Revenge of the Chupacabra, by the way... The, it says chupacabras, but there's only one chupacabra, so Revenge of the Chupacabra, not bras, gets a zero out of ten for being an absolute trash fest. If there's any actors who would like to talk to me about their time in this movie, I would love to listen and bitch about their life choices. But, um, nonetheless, guys, have you seen Bloodthirst 2 Revenge of the Chupacabra? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and if you have a horrible horror movie that you want me to watch and you want me to review, I will be sure to review it, and I will be sure to leave your name in the title, recommend your channel, and just let people know that you recommended it. So, come on, bring on the fucking, bring them on, bring them on. You can't show me worse than Scarecrow Slayer. You can't show me worse. I dare you to. You can't show me worse. I promise you. Alright, guys. As always, I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.